With Dust514 having officially come out this Tuesday, a lot of people are scrambling to get to know this game and a lot of people are scrambling to get to know how the game works and all the new dictionary words that are available. A lot of people, I've looked through all different websites like IGN and GameSpot and I've looked through all these different websites and a lot of people are having a lot of trouble uh, deciding what to do with the game and what to do in the game, what classes to focus on, what guns to focus on and just what to do overall just because the game has like a huge, huge uh, steep learning curve and this is essentially what this video is about. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a series of videos pretty much telling you so guys some tips that will help you guys, uh, you know, decide on what to do in this game and how to get started. So this tip, this specific tip is going to talk about the different weapon classes that exist in the game and which ones you should focus on depending on the style of gameplay that you have. So to ever, for first to look at the weapon classes that exist, I'm going to go ahead and look at the skill list for each one of the weapon classes that exist. You can press start and you can go to your character and you can follow go, go into skills. From here we can go down and scroll to weaponry and whenever we click a weaponry, we're going to see we go to the weaponry skill set class. And the weaponry skill set class that pretty much unlocks new weapons for us to use. Of course, this one on mine, I have it at level 3 right now. Now, weapons are divided into three different classes. The three classes that are exist for weapons are heavy weapons, light weapons, and then sidearm weapons. Now, those three classes differ a lot from each other. And if you put points into each one of these classes, you won't be able to use them for, you won't be able to use weapons for the other class. Each weapon has their own set of requirements, and some of those requirements include having a certain level, a certain skill level unlocked for each one of these operations. For example, a gun might require you to have a light weapon operation at least at level 2. Uh, right now, I got it at level 1, so I would need to spend 37,300 skill points to be, able to, make this, to be able to make this go to level 2. So, each weapon class is actually divided into subcategories. Now, for the heavy weapons, we've got two different weapon classes that it goes to. It goes to forged guns, and it goes to heavy machine guns. These ones are types of guns that pretty much have like a lot of firepower and a lot of damage. But they overheat after you hold them down for a certain amount of time. They also make you run a little bit slower. Now if we go down to the light weapon operations, these ones are a little bit more standard operational weapons that we actually see in other first person shooters. At the top we're going to see the most famous of all the classes of course is the assault rifle operation. Now this class is a class I primarily like to use because in most other games I always play with assault rifles or I play with submachine guns but this is my preferred class and now we're going to why I do not pick a submachine gun later. We got laser rifles, we got mass drivers, we got plasma cannons, now these ones are a little bit limited on the amount of ammo you got but they do a certain a lot of damage. This one's scrambler rifle operation, shotguns of course, shotguns got a very limited range but the damage they do is increasingly powerful. Sniper rifles, swarm launchers, now if we go to start arms, start arms has a little bit few. We got scrambler pistol, it's like a regular pistol, a handgun. We got Nova knife, we got the flate lock pistol, and last but not least we got the submachine gun. Now for submachine guns what I was trying to mention is the fact that submachine guns in this game are severely underpowered. Whenever I first began to use this game and began to play Dust 114 in the beta, I noticed right off the bat that submachine guns got a very very limited range. In this game, range is very limited to the point where guns might not be able to work past a certain range. The bullets would just not hit. And that's one of the things that happens with the submachine guns. Now let's look at some of the uh, stats and some of the things that we can actually improve on the submachine guns. Whenever you actually go in into any weapon class, you can actually click triangle and show the info of what the specific skill list does. And this one does a 5% reduction to submachine gun kick per level. So that decreases your recoil by 5%. This one increases your ammo. This one increases your gun proficiency, meaning, meaning increases your, your damage. Each one of these classes can be increased up to level 5, so this one increases our damage by 3%. So if we increase it 5 levels, it increases the overall damage of the submachine gun by 15%. Next we got submachine gun sharpshooter. Now this, this decreases the dispersion of the shots, making sure all the shots follow exactly in a straight line where you're aiming at the first place. And while we got the fitting optimization, and we also have the fabric reload. Now these, the rapid reloads, of course, of reloading fast. The gun the fitting optimization is the one that you make it to where the gun takes up less space on your outfit whenever you're trying to equip it on. Now if you want to go ahead and buy weapons, it's actually pretty easy. We can go to the marketplace, of course. And in the marketplace, it's where you find all the weapons that you actually want to buy. Now weapons are divided, of course, into two different classes. And the two different classes that exist of any weapon out there are regular weapons and then militia weapons. Militia gear weapons, you'll actually find them in the militia gear, a lot of them. And when you actually go to it and you go to the weapons class, militia weapons differ in the fact that they actually got a blueprint. Now what these weapons are, the blueprint weapons, are the weapons that actually never run out. Dust Why 14 is a game that for every weapon that you buy, if you die in battle, you lose a copy of that weapon. So for example, let us say we have 
50 standard militia assault rifles. If we die 50 times in battle, we lose all 50 copies of it and then we have to buy more. Now, if we get a militia assault rifle blueprint, you can actually purchase this one and by purchasing it, it never runs out. Even if you only have one copy, that copy is unlimited. So it becomes an unlimited supply. So this way you can actually save money instead of using the standard one, which you will actually have to pay for each copy that you lose when you die. So these are the militia weapons. This one's for standard players. These ones, as you guys can see, whenever we look, we press triangle and we scroll over to where it says prerequisite, prerequisites, pretty much it says that no skills are required. This means that none of the previous skills, none of the skill points that we saw from the previous uh, class, nothing for uh, heavy weapon operations or nothing for sidearm operations, you will need none of those. You can actually wear these right off the bat the moment you begin the game. Now, if we want to go to more advanced weapons, we can actually scroll down to where it says weapons. Not these ones, whenever we go here, we can actually see the three different classes of weapons that it says, the light, the sidearm, and the heavy. Me, for example, I'm using light. So let's go over here and let's go to assault rifle, which is this main class I am using right now. As you guys can see, there is a nice assortment of weapons right here. And since I got my weapon class my assault rifle almost all the way upgraded, I got it past level five, I got a lot of these things unlocked. As you guys can see, I got a green check mark on these things, meaning that I'm able to use these. If you, see a, if you see a red X, that means you were not able to use those weapons. As I just scroll down all the way, as you guys can see, I got everything unlocked because I'm, I got the max level, which is level 5. Now, when you actually click there, you actually see that you can go to the prerequisites, and it says you got to have your weapon, weapon skill at level 3, your light weapon operation at level 1, your assault rifle operation at level 5, and your assault rifle proficiency at level 1. All those things got to be checked off. And all those skills got to be upgraded before you're actually able to use this gun. Of course, the more powerful guns such as this one cost more money, but they do a lot more damage. Let's compare. Whenever we look at a regular weapon, like an assault rifle that you will start with, usually it does about 34 damage per hit. As you guys can see, it has 34.0 hit points. Now, if we scroll down to the advanced class, we can actually see that it does a little bit more. Now, this one over here, it does 53.5 damage per, per hit. But the fire rate is a little bit slower. It's 400 RPMs per second. Where I suppose to this one over here that it does 35 hits, 35 damage per hit. This one has an RPM of 750. So as you guys can see, the weapons do differ. The stronger the class, the more it will cost you per each weapon. As you guys can see up here, it costs you 1,500, and this one down here costs you 10,000, 17,000, 17,000, 17,000, and we can keep going higher and higher. But the higher we go, the more powerful they are. But the more skill points you gotta have unlocked for you to be actually be able to use them. So. Hopefully that kind of gave you like an idea of how unlocking weapons works in this game. As you guys can see, you got to make sure that you pick exactly what weapon class you want to focus on because the skill points are specifically assigned to each different weapon and each different weapon has its own set of requirements. If you spend the wrong points on something different, something that you don't want, those, those will be skill points that you have wasted because in this game there is no way to actually respec like in other games, like actually reset your characters and the points you have used. So hopefully this was helpful to anybody out there wondering what weapon class to choose, and I guess I'll catch you guys later.